So let's dive right in and take a look at the niche that this big website was in. Actually, it was a little website. It was only about five pages. Um, what I noticed was on the web, tons and tons and tons of people were searching for recipes. As you can see right here in this competition search volume report, these recipe words are looked up a lot. The word recipe is looked up 20 million times a month. The word recipes, 16 million times a month. Chicken recipe, 1.2 million times a month. So you have tons and tons uh, of searches that are done for the word recipes and variations of those words. And you can see this list just goes on and on and on and on. Um, so what I did is I found a niche and one particular recipe that I wanted to tackle. Um, and you can do this with any of them. You can, you can try it out on your own and, you know, see if you can make some money. So basically what I did is I, I found one of them, and the one that my site was about was Prime Rib Recipes, um, and it got a lot of searches. I think on Christmas or Christmas Eve, that site did, I think it was over $400 um, in revenue just off a little five-page site that I made very, very quickly. And, you know, um, if I had it to do over again, if I was going to build this site over again, I would do a better job because you could actually make more profit if you focus more on helping your people instead of just trying to make a quick buck. Uh, so that was one of my downfalls with the site. And, you know, you could learn from that downfall and actually provide better value. Um, and if you love cooking, I love cooking. Um, and if you love cooking and have some recipes, this could be a great outlet for you to build a site in and, and provide good value to people. Um, and as you can see, uh, let's see here. The one with the least competition is recipe cheesecake, uh, which can go either way. It could be recipe cheesecake or cheesecake recipe. Um, and we see that it has 165,000 searches per month. Um, if my math is correct, I think that's about 4,000 a day. Uh, somewhere around there, four or 5,000 a day, a little bit over 5,000 a day. Um, so you have over 5,000 people a day looking up recipe cheesecake. And there's also variations of it. There's, you know, New York cheesecake recipe, all those other variations and things like that. And now what I did was I thought of the mindset of these recipe people, and I got to thinking that they really probably don't want to buy a recipe unless it's something really good and you can package it correctly, uh, which you could do also. Um, but most people, I think, want something free. They want a free recipe that they could print out and go make their cheesecake right away. So uh, to prove my point, let's go over to Google and type in this recipe cheesecake. And we see that over here on the uh, side where the, the sponsored links are, these are the paid ads, you have three people competing. Now, whenever you see a niche that has 5,000 people a day searching for it and only three competitors, that's a good niche. You can make some money there. So there's a little tip for you to be able to evaluate a niche and see which ones are actually going to work and which ones can make money. Um, and the less amount of ads you see, the more likely you are to get that word very, very inexpensively. And I think in my prime rib uh, example, I was getting clicks for about two to seven cents each. Um, and I was able to make, you know, 10 to 19 cents uh, off of each click. And let's go ahead and show you that site now. And this site, uh, you know, made some good money in its, in its day. Um, again, if I had to do it over again, I'll show you what I would do. Um, so here we are, and this is the basic prime rib site. Very, very simple. Um, and you says, you know, you're about to learn the secret to making perfect prime rib. Get the secret prime rib recipe here. You won't find this on other sites. And then the email box here. Now, this is where I actually flawed and messed up with this site. And this email address box did not capture their email. It was just a pass-through uh, where I carried the email as a variable to the second page for other offers. Um, now, if I had to do it over again, I would absolutely build a list of people who were interested in making prime rib. And if I go back into the prime rib site statistics, I can see that I've had thousands and thousands of um, searches and people that landed on that page um, that I could still be making money off if I was doing it correctly and actually building a mailing list and you know sending them 
things that were related. Um, I'm looking at it now, and I believe the prime rib site, it looks like it made, let's see here, it looks like it got over 22,000 people visiting it, and the average click here is about seven cents on search, uh, and, and by search, I mean the ad showed up here, and then I'm showing about 5,000 more clicks on content. Uh, which is where your ad shows up on the AdSense portion of other people's websites. Very important in a site like this because there's so many websites out there with recipes and you want to make sure that if it has AdSense, your ad's going to show up. So make sure that you click that content link. Um, you know, just don't bid as much as you do on search because it's not usually the high quality of traffic that you get from search. Okay, so basically what I did was I built these prime rib pages based on, you know, cooking times, recipes, odd juice sauce, um, and other sauces and things like that.